Let's dive back in time to the Western Interior Seaway, an ancient ocean bathed in a dreamy olive light. In this vibrant world, a master of agility prowls the midwater zones, the platycarpus, a sleek and specialized mosasaur. It avoided the crowded reefs, preferring the open shadowy depths. Its skull streamlined and elegant, housed huge eyes, perfectly designed to pierce the dim light and spot the slightest movement. The real secret to its grace was its tail. Unlike the power-focused tails of its larger cousins, the fluke of Platycarpus was built for finesse, allowing it to weave through the water with incredible precision. This predator was a master of reading the environment. It thrived where different water layers met, especially at thermoclines, sharp temperature shifts and oxygen edges. These zones were rich in nutrients, attracting swarms of small fish and squid, creating the perfect hunting grounds. Platycarpus didn't rely on brute force. It would approach its prey from the side, a shadow in the periphery, then explode in a burst of speed executing a sharp decisive cut. In order for it to snatch its meal, its teeth weren't made for crushing. Instead, they were more like curved hooks, designed to grip slippery fish and squid just long enough for its powerful throat to swallow them whole. Fossilized stomach contents and even fossil feces called coprolites have shown us insects from cephalopods and fish scales painting a clear picture of its varied diet. Life wasn't easy, though. The platycarpus had to contend with sharks nipping at its sides and much larger mosasaurs that ruled the open ocean, but this clever hunter knew its limits. It survived by reading the subtle seams in the water, knowing exactly when to retreat and avoid a fight it couldn't win. It was a specialist in tactical modesty. Fossil evidence tells an incredible story. Bone studies show it grew incredibly fast and its vertebrae were articulated like a whip, giving it that extraordinary agility. Imagine a creature with control surfaces at the front and a powerful engine at the back, capable of swift, refined movements. It could even use natural events to its advantage after a storm. When fresh water from rivers created a new layer on the surface, Platycarpus could ride these dynamic shifts, effortlessly navigating its ever-changing world. The story of Platycarpus teaches a powerful lesson. You don't have to be the biggest or the strongest to thrive. Success often comes from understanding the subtle details others miss and mastering the interfaces within your environment. It's a testament to the power of skill over sheer size. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this journey into the ancient seas, don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the past.